Hey friends, it's April 20th. I wanted to do a quick garden update and share with you guys what we're doing right now on the farm in April. Um, it's still pretty chilly. It's about 47 degrees. You wanna say hi to our friends? Oh. Yeah. What? You're protecting the garden? It's still pretty chilly. We haven't really planted much yet. The only thing we've planted is peas and fava beans and neither of those have come up yet but i still wanted to just give you guys an update on where we're at kind of what things look like because they look a bit like a mess um and also update you on just our life in general because i've actually been really sick so here we go Take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? So this is the state of the garden. <laughs> As you can see, lots of weeds. Lots of weeds. Almost all of these weeds are dandelions like all of this. And after doing some research, I realized I realized that the excessive amount of dandelions is likely caused by our compacted soil, which we're working on over time through no-till methods. But no-till takes time and right now our soil is still pretty compact and that's why we have so many dandelions. It's actually nature's way of loosening the soil. So as the soil loosens and we continue to get the dandelions out of the garden, we're going to see a decrease in them over time because they like to take root where the soil is compact. So let me just show you guys where we're at. So this is our perennial herb and flower bed. Looks like I have some lavender that may be coming back. It's a little too early to tell. I have some yarrow. That guy is coming right back. Um, I think this is a winter savory herb. Let's see what else I got. Um, I think a type of chamomile. Oh, I can't remember. Some more yarrow over here. More chamomile maybe. I got some chives coming in. Oh, sorrel. This is like an edible green, almost like spinach. And I have a couple types of lavender. One, two, three, and we have some lemon balm coming in under here. So we have some perennial herbs coming back, so that's great. Um, what else do we have growing? We have some carrots that overwintered. They're actually starting to grow. Let me show you guys those. See these right here? Let me, let me pull one, see how, how they look. Look at that little guy. So cute. Obviously super small, but but cute little carrot. Enough to add a little crunch to dinner or something. Um, we also have some garlic. A lot of garlic. Let me show you guys the garlic. That all seems to be doing well. So we have hard neck and short neck, or hard neck and soft neck. Soft neck is doing poorer than the hard neck. It's just a northeast thing. North, northeast thing. So this in here is all soft neck. We have soft neck going this guy right here. This is all the soft neck. We've got the soft neck going all the way through here. And then right here, this is where the hard neck starts. And you have the hard neck all the way over there. Hey, are you guys playing? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Justin! TJ! They're completely ignoring me. Oh well. Um, this trellis right here 
is for peas. We planted peas on both sides. They have yet to come up, so we'll see. It's been really chilly. It was warm, and then it got really chilly, so hopefully those guys germinate. Um, time will tell. And then from about where I'm standing here, so right in here, all the way to right here, I planted, what was it, like a butterball potato, I think? Like a yellow potato. So, we should have lots of those coming up if they survived. We had a really hard, hard frost a few nights ago, but it seems like things are warming up a little bit now. So that's pretty much an update. Let me guys, let me show you guys the hookah culture bed. Ooh, it's so bright. This is where I planted the fava beans. This area right here. Fava beans are not like regular beans. They're like a winter crop, so you, so you can't plant regular beans now, but you can't plant fava beans. Okay, so hookah culture is doing well. A lot of the kale overwintered, so I have lots of kale already growing. I have a bunch of Egyptian walking onions that are growing in here, some carrots. But there are a lot of rodent issues in the hookah culture bed. So I have to fill in lots of holes and hope that the cats kind of keep the rodents away this summer. But overall, things that are growing in here are doing really well. So let me just let me just show you. Um, so you can see all the the holes. But this beautiful kale overwintered. Got lots of curly kale that overwintered. Got the Egyptian walking onions and carrots up there. And then over on the other side, we have even more kale. See all that kale. Lots and lots of kale. And then over here we have more Egyptian walking onions. So you can use these guys as, as green onions or make pesto or do all kinds of things. Okay, I just wanted to take you guys to the raised beds and give you an update there. Um, show you guys we've got more garlic. We've got some, some, what are those things that are like onions? But they're smaller, they're not like garlic. Forgetting the name of them. Hmm. Not scallions. Guys. Oh, I know a million people are gonna put in the comments what they are. And I don't remember. So let me just show you what's going on in here. More garlic, a bunch of different varieties. And then in here I put planted those those things I can't remember the name of. Scallions, no. It's slipping my mind. Um, and then we have some yellow raspberries here. And this is gonna be all a raspberry bed. So I still need to mulch this with some rotted hay. Haven't done that yet. I'm really behind this year, it's okay. Oh, and look at my very healthy chive plant over here. That's yeah, fine. Very healthy. Gosh, this guy is so beautiful. And then I've got some tricolored sage. That's doing well overwintered. And parsley? I think parsley that reseeded itself. Not too long. We're gonna have dill. It's gonna come up everywhere and all kinds of other things. So, update on me. Because I've been really sick. <clears throat> Chickens are very excited because Chris feeds them all the weeds, the dandelion weeds and stuff when he pulls them. And they get really excited. I'll show you guys. You guys so happy? That's so cute. <laughs> Or snowball in, out in Bollywood. Why aren't they coming? I don't know. Guys, you're missing out. Is it crazy that Snowball had splayed legs? Now just a fully grown snow. <coughs> She's so cute. <coughs> so about two weeks ago, I can't remember, maybe three weeks ago, um, I've start, I started getting a little bit sick and 
<clears throat> then I started having some asthma, which I do have very mild normally. So I'll get like asthma when I get allergies or I'll get asthma when I get sick or things like that. I get like some wheezing and then I cough. Um, I have like a lot of mucus build up and I've just been coughing a lot and it got really bad to the point where like I couldn't sleep because if I like lay down at all I would have wheezing and coughing and I would have to use my inhaler and I was using my inhaler like my rescue inhaler like five times a day sometimes six times a day and you're not supposed to use it too much and so <coughs> the coughing started getting worse and I realized I might be sick so maybe I have bronchitis or something else going on of course with COVID and um, the coronavirus and everything, uh, I just wanted to make sure I was taking care of myself and getting treatment quickly so things didn't progress any worse. So at the, at the height of it, I was coughing, like having coughing fits like multiple times a day and really uncomfortable, no other issues, like no, no pain or um, no fever, um, no uh, like chills or anything like that. Just like really coughing, wheezing, asthma, all that stuff. So I finally got on another medicine and then it helped like so much immediately and I've started feeling a lot better. I'm still having like coughing and wheezing and asthma, especially if I go outside, if I walk around. So I kind of have to be like really, really chill. Like I have to lay down a lot. I have to keep it easy, walk around the house, but I can't really go on walks right now because if I go on walks, I start having coughing fits. So I've, I feel like... Um, I don't know, I've just been really sick, so doing a lot better, um, yeah, just taking care of myself, and it's been really weird to be sick during the coronavirus, because I don't know if it could have been that or not, or if it could, could be that or not, um, I don't have severe enough symptoms to get a test or anything like that, but it's just, it's just hard, because you see so many people taking things so casually, and, um, being just so, like, lighthearted about it and I woke up one morning and I just started crying because I felt so horrible and I was so scared that things would get worse and it's just a really scary time so I just wanted to open that up and share that with you guys because I think it's important to be transparent um I don't know I haven't just been sitting here gardening and you know hanging out during quarantine I've been sick and I've been uncomfortable and I've been in pain and so I think yeah, that's just real life. It's not just like hanging out on the farm. Everything's blissful. Um, but yeah, feeling better. Thanking God for that. Um, could continue to use, use your prayers. Um, and we have other exciting things happening here. Some exciting things that will be coming soon that I'm really excited to share with you guys. I think I'll be sharing in the next couple of months. So stay tuned for those exciting updates. And uh, yeah. <coughs> Ugh. Anywho, love you guys. Thanks for being here for a little garden update and farm update and life update. Uh, it's a joy to share our lives with you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.